The movie begins with grown men making ice blocks as we're introduced to Princess Elsa living in a castle. Girl, wake your ass up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Your mom's a sheep. Your dad is gay. Your dad is my dad. You wanna build a snowman? She. So they go and play. Wow. You ready? Uh-huh. Elsa being born as an upgraded Frozone has the powers of ice and builds a snowman named Olaf with a little sister Anna. Catch me. <laughs> Catch me. Yo, wait. I'm gonna fly. Ah, uh, she. We. Yeah. Baby mama. So the parents show up and afraid of losing their favorite child, they take Anna into the bushes where a random kid follows them because he has no life. And the royal family gets met with trolls while the blonde kid gets adopted. And the troll helps Anna but changes her memories to forget Elsa's power and tells Elsa she needs to control her powers and that fear is her enemy. Uh. So the king is like, instead of embracing her power so it doesn't create fear, let's isolate Elsa from society, deepening her trauma from hurting someone, teaching her to conceal it, don't feel it. But how do you learn to control anything you don't ever use? That's like trying to control the speed of a car when driving, but you never drive. 야, 이 씨발이야, 문을 안 열으면 뒤진다. 알았노. 아, 나똥 싼다. 꺼져, 이 새끼야. And as the years go by with Anna growing up, her parents ditch them because they're sick of their asses. As Elsa be like, you have to go. We never liked you, Elsa. Only for the king and queen to find the missing people from the Titanic. And with the parents deceased, Anna still hasn't seen Elsa. As Elsa still can't control her powers. Duh. And three years later, Elsa is old enough to be declared queen. So for a coronation, the castle gates open for one day. As Anna gets ready and sings a song. Cause for the first time in forever, I'll see my sister. And we'll fight for the first time in forever. I'll get pounded every night. Meanwhile, Elsa struggles to touch anything without turning it into ice, so she decides to wear gloves. We oui. oof. Hey, oh a ginger. Hi. <laughs> Wait, so you have freckles too? Thank goodness. Oh, I want him. I'm Hans, the royal ginger of the north. <laughs> Can I go out with you? God, no. Your side brands give me the ick. Fuck you. And during the coronation, Elsa becomes queen and nearly exposes her powers but prevents it by putting her glove back on. And as the people dance, Anna finally gets some bonding time with Elsa. Hi. H hi, me? Do you know what I'm thinking about? Mmm. Sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> but because Elsa doesn't want Anna to get hurt, she gets distant and pushes her away. Then Anna reunites with Hans and the gingers spend the night getting along together. And out of nowhere, Sideburns proposes to marry her and she says yes. So Anna brings Hans to Elsa. Excuse me, peasants out of the way. Elsa, this is my boyfriend, Ginger Freckles. We're getting married. <laughs> huh? Married? Yes. Bitch, you can't marry a man you just met. But it's true love. You ain't no shit about love. Why are you being such a hub? Goodbye, Anna. Is it his ginger pubes? Just let me marry him. Enough. So Elsa gets exposed and runs away only to expose her powers to the public. And Elsa goes, Hadouken, scaring the people. Then walks on water thinking she Jesus. And Anna's all like, no, don't go. As ice and snow covers the entire kingdom creating internal winter. Anna then says she'll find Elsa to bring back summer and leave Cybers in charge. Then heads off while Elsa sings a song. You a hoe, stupid hoe. Can't throw it back, I'm 34. You a hoe, stupid hoe. Twerk away and grind some more. I don't care if they freeze all day. Let the storm rage on. I hope they all suffocate anyway. And during the journey, the horse ditches Anna because it don't like her. So she finds a crib to buy warm clothes and oh look, another ginger. The ginger representation in this film is great, by the way. Anna then meets Brokey Kristoff who can't afford to buy equipment and gets thrown out of the store. So Anna buys what Kristoff needed, gives it to him and asks him to take her to the mountains. In which she does just that while getting a spit on her face as she vents. You got engaged to someone you just met? Yes, yeah, so? You crazy. It's true love. Then a pack of wolves tried making dinner as Kristoff loses his sled in the process. But they reach the mountains and find Elsa's creation, Olaf. A snowman made from Elsa and Anna's childhood who takes to see Elsa. Back in Arendelle, Anna's horse gets back so Cyburns goes with others to find her. While the Grey Leprechaun plot to kill Elsa. So Anna and friends make it to Elsa's crib and tells Elsa to come back home. And tells her, it's cause of you we have the eternal winter. So Elsa's all like, I should have been adopted and panics. Then launches ice out of her titties and hit Anna in the heart. And instead of apologizing like, oops, you're going to die now, she creates a snow monster and kicks them out of the crib. So Anna gets feisty, which only makes things worse. Don't come back. So Anna's like, we all die tonight. But they will somehow survive the fall without a broken bone. Oh. Kristoff then takes Anna to his family for help while Elsa has a breakdown. When they arrive, it turns out his family are trolls that tries getting Anna and Kristoff married. But Anna's condition gets worse as she's told only an act of true love can thaw an icy heart. The trolls suggest a kiss because they're trolling so Anna goes to Cybers. And if she takes too long, she'll be frozen forever. Meanwhile, the ginger finds Elsa's crib and gets attacked by the snow cutie. And Elsa's like, oh my gosh, stop chasing me. As they try killing Elsa while snow cutie takes a fall. Bijun, you bitch. Bijun, yo take this ice shoddy. Uh. <sighs> Elsa, in the name of the ginger, please stop. Nah, she gonna die. No. Bijun. Crack. Ah, shit. Mm, where am I?
Uh, I'm a slave. Meanwhile, Christoph brings Anna back to get kissed by another man, which officially makes him the biggest simp ever as bro then leaves. Anna then gets to Hans and demands a true love kiss. Uh, Elsa froze my heart. Only you can save me. ba da ba 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 Oh, man. Who's gonna ever love you? You always gave me the ick. What? You see, I never liked your freckles. <laughs> you son of a bitch. No, you're a bitch. You don't kiss it, ki. Who's your daddy now? Bye. Ugh, so cold. Sideburns then announces he got married to Anna and that she was killed by Elsa so sentences her to death. Meanwhile, Elsa escapes by freezing the place and breaking free. Oh, he not look happy. Then Rudolph tells Chris that they need Anna for the new sled so he runs back. While Olaf unintentionally saves Anna and tells her to go kiss Kristoff instead. Then the snowman sees the simp approaching and tells Anna to go get him. Only for her to start freezing faster to her death. Then Hans be like, Your sister is dead. Anya, Hachima, no. Kristoff? I'm coming! But then Anna sees Elsa and saves her life turning into a human popsicle. And wouldn't the sword break the ice rather than the other way around? Or is this some special kind of ice? Because how is Anna's body stronger now than when she was human? But because Anna sacrificing herself was an act of true love, she's back to normal. So the sisters hug it out and Elsa's like, Oh my gosh, the answer was love! And removes the ice, bringing back Summer. The visuals in this film is very pretty. As Elsa finds a way to prevent Olaf dying from the heat because her powers are goaded. Ow. Anna? <laughs> With sideburns in jail and leprechaun taken away. Anna gives Kristoff a better job and the best sled. While he gives her something else she can ride on. Fortunately, Elsa gets accepted by the public as she makes an ice rink. And has a happily ever after with Anna. Genuine question, would y'all watch non-animated films commentated? Do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy KC. And yeah, till next time.